Hey guys, it's Dan from DisneyInfinityCodes.com and I'm here inside the Galactic Hall of Heroes for Disney Infinity 3.0 and we have now completed our collection of all of the Wave 1 Star Wars figures for 3.0 and uh, our hall is now complete and filled with all of the, uh, the character um, uh, pedestals and uh, so I thought we would kind of take a tour through all of that and, uh, and check it out and uh, kind of go from there. Um, so let's let's take a look. Um, first off and foremost, I thought we would start over here with the Twilight of the Republic because that is the starter pack. And so we have got Obi-Wan here. We've got Anakin. We've got Ahsoka and we've got Yoda. And so now their figures here are all kind of rocking it out and uh, hanging out. Uh, and what's really great is once you activate all the characters, um, when you first put down the character, get it to level one, the the, the the projection of the figure here turns red uh, and then when you upgrade your character to I believe level 10 uh, the f the uh, projection will turn blue and then once you get it to level 20 it will turn gold and then once you have all of the characters in the playset um, activated inside the hall of heroes that is when you will uh, the animations for the characters will start to uh, move so um, you've got the uh, all four of these guys in here now and they're all kind of moving around uh, and they're kind of, uh, um, we've got a nice little animation going there. So, uh, and now we come over here and we've got a peek at the Rise Against the Empire characters. And so you got uh, Chewbacca here. Uh, you've got Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and Princess Leia. Uh, and then I've, of course, got the Twilight of the Republic power discs here that I uh, hadn't activated yet. So I apologize and get those out of the way there. Um, okay, and then over here we've got the um, Rebels characters, and so we've got Zeb, who is a little glitchy there and is not standing on his base. Oh, well, there he is. He's going back. Kind of moves around a little bit there. So we've got Zeb, we've got Kanan, we've got Ezra, and we've got Sabine, and uh, they're all level 20 and, uh, and moving around there. And uh, uh, the other thing is that once they get to level 20, the, the gold kind of intermixes with, you know, their own... Uh, color scheme uh, of the character kind of flashes in and out of that. So, um, and then uh, what I think is the most interesting of all of the uh, uh, stuff we've kind of got going on here in uh, 3.0 uh, Galactic Call of Heroes is the fact that we've got the three villains here unlocked uh, and up at level 20. But what is interesting is the villains are not moving, which is. Uh, an interesting little tidbit uh, because they, we've got all three villains. We've got Vader, we've got Boba Fett, we've got Darth Maul. They're all level 20, uh, but they're not moving. And uh, and so if we were to kind of pull some information uh, off of what's going on here with the other sets of characters, uh, it would be that the villains are not complete. And so that's interesting. Uh, but what is also interesting is the fact that we've got this mimic space over here um, that could easily hold another three characters, quite possibly four characters. So I have to wonder um, what other characters we're going to be seeing inside Star Wars 3.0 that are going to be villains. Um, are we just going to get one more villain and he'll fill in over here? Um, taking this spot, which will then activate all the villains, and then we'll get four Force Awakened characters over here. That might be what we're going to see. Um, so uh, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing, you know, uh, Finn and Rey, obviously, and then uh, perhaps we'll see uh, Kylo Ren over here. But who knows? So um, that is uh, our current prediction, is that we're going to have one more villain in Star Wars, which will fill out this villain set here and then we will get four more characters for rise um for uh force awakens playset but uh that's just our guess who knows what we might actually get and then um what's really cool is these buttons are starting to come to life and they work just like the uh hall of superhero buttons in that when you jump on them they uh project um some vehicles uh that you have unlocked in uh from the playset and so there you've got the millennium falcon the millennium falcon uh, here you've got the uh, snowspeeder. You've got the uh, battle cruiser. And you've got the 
which was uh, that's the X-wing, and so these are from the uh, um, Twilight. Yeah, those are these are from the Rise Against the Empire playset over here, and then these buttons here are for the uh, uh, Twilight of the Republic, and so you've got this little Jedi speeder, the Jedi uh, starfighter there, inside that. Um, button. So uh, as you continue to uh, progress through the place that's an unlock the vehicles, that's what those buttons are for ultimately. So the three red ones are Twilight of the Republic, and the six blue ones are Rise Against the Empire. And so there's there's the secret there with those buttons. Uh, we've got it figured out. So um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, visit us at DisneyInfinityCodes.com uh, and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Appreciate it. You guys have a good one.